Dan Johnson here, Air Venture 2011, still in the ultralight area. We came across something here I can't quite figure, Dave. This thing is, well, what is it here? It's a Kolb, that part's clear. There's thousands of these things flying, so it's easy to identify the Kolb look, but this one's got a nose gear on it. We have never seen a nose gear before, but it's also got a tail gear on it. Give me a minute, I gotta go find somebody who knows something about this thing. I found Brian here. He thinks he knows a thing or two about these. He should know some, something about these. <laughs> Welcome, Brian. Thank you. So I'm looking at this airplane. It looks like a uh, go both ways kind of airplane. You got a tri gear here. It looks perfectly normal. If I don't look back there, <laughs> looks interesting. Never saw one before, but that's fine. But then there's a tail to gear back there. What the heck is going on here? What you got in mind? I have a lot of fun when I play with toy airplanes. <laughs> that's why I like it. I like it a little different. Um, I, I was uh, together with my welder, Dennis Jackson, at the, at the factory at Kolb, and I, I kept telling him, I said, I want a tricycle gear, and I'd like to widen out the Firestar and get a side-by-side -side going that we can run with a 503. So you're telling I, me this thing's a Firestar? It is a Firestar 2SS. Like Fire That's right. We stretched it out. We moved the back seat to the front so that you can sit right beside your right beside pilot and passenger and uh, be able to talk eye to eye rather than front to back. Also gives you full dual control. Uh, dual rudder pedals, you know, you both can do your flying. Beautiful, you can do instruction in it too and stuff that's like right. that, so that's cool. So so what's going on here? You took a Firestar, you got Firestar wings? It is Firestar wings. And you got Firestar struts? Firestar lift struts. Firestar tailplane? Absolutely. And the rest then, you took this welded steel part? Yep. And I think you said a boom tube. Yeah, you'll need a boom tube. You, you can actually take this plane and take your stock Firestar wings off of your plane that you're flying now. And, uh, pull the wings off. Pull the wings off, plug them right onto this cage. Uh, tail feathers right onto the new boom tube. Boom tube's got the H section, just a little bit of a different location. So ah, okay. you the won't be able to use that off of the device, original. Okay. That's, that's right, the internal uh, strength strengthener. So uh, so you would have to have the cage and the boom tube and the and the gear. And I can, I can do that whole package for about $6,000 to convert an existing Firestar 2 to a side-by-side -side Well, the Firestar 2, yeah. I'll, I'll grant you it's a two-seater, but it's sort of a one-and-a-half-seater. Marginal for space. Because sure uh, you've got to be kind of a little guy to get in the back That's of that right. thing, and certainly to be comfortable back That's there. That's right. I've done it. I've been in the back. They're not bad, but uh, this looks a lot roomier and it, it suited to your typical hamburger-loving American. <laughs> I lost no personal comment, <laughs> but he went right there, didn't he? So, But it also looks to me like something weird happened down here. Yeah, did you I've, bend this gear on a bad landing, or did, that, is it, did you make it what, that way? What I've done is when we built the when we built the cage, I've done some internal strengthening. Okay. To take like a J, this is a styled off of a J3 Cub. Okay. Where you have the back support back here, and that strengthened into the landing gear. On oh, the inside I see. The okay. So that gives it some back support to get the landing gear back for the tricycle gear, and then I have a little little strut support underneath. Oh, I see. Also okay. along the lines of the J3 Cub, just in a lot smaller scale. But it's scale. about in the same place, isn't and it? it? This is the original location of the uh, of the Firestar landing gear. So you can take the landing gear off of your Firestar that you have now and put the stock landing gear on, take your nose wheel and your tricycle gear off, put on tail dragger gear, you have a conventional aircraft. Well, that probably doesn't take more than six or eight hours? It's about an hour. An hour? About an hour you Give have me a break. tricycle gear really? to a conventional gear. Well, now that's pretty cool, but you don't really have to do all that because once you got a tricycle gear, it does them both. You can you can land it like a tail dragger. Absolutely. Tell me what you were doing earlier and how yeah. you're having some During fun. During the test it. flights on this airplane, I was having so much fun it was almost embarrassing. I'm glad that Dave <laughs> Loveman wasn't around to video anything, so I'd never get over. Because you had one of those big, you know, I, what I kind did, of grins on. I was on? actually okay. screaming on the runway. It was so much fun. <laughs> we were having a good time, but uh, I was uh, for the first time in my life, I was a little nervous about a test flight. My welder, Dennis Jackson, he said, he said, why are you nervous? I said, well, it's a tricycle gear. I'm not sure I can fly one. <laughs> That's a cold pilot for you. But, you know, I got to say this about a cold tail dragger. Whatever you think about tail draggers, everybody watching this, forget it. That cold tail draggers were never hard to fly as a tail They're dragger. Not. No, anyway, they're... but now you've just made it... Uh, you know, drop dead simple here. You got tri gear is. and you got tail gear. You could learn to fly a tail dragger with this while airplane. in a tri gear. In a tri gear configuration, you can't nose over, can't pull back too far. Can't go back too it's far. Like in a cradle. Can't go too far. And this forward. has a seven foot stance on the wheel, so it's really stable from wow. side to side too. So it's really rock solid on the ground. But I was doing my taxi testing on the tail wheel. I just give it a little throttle, full up, get it back on the tail wheel, and I was taxiing around because I felt normal like that. <laughs> then I got it down on the tricycle gear. 
I did my fir uh, first several crow hops on the runway, flew it around the patch. When I came back and landed, I just did a full uh, three-point tail dragger landing, and I didn't even let the nose wheel, I didn't let it back down. You're afraid to let that nose down. I turned it all the way around at the end of the runway and taxied all the way back. Dennis said, why won't it come back down on the nose wheel? I said, because I didn't let it. <laughs> well, it saves nose went, wheel wear and tear then. That's right. And then I just let off a little pressure off the stick right back down on the nose wheel steering but around. It when really, you're, worked, when you're really flew it, off so uh, much fun. Right here, the way I see it now, and of course, this is not an uncommon thing on a lightweight That's tail, right. a lightweight, a lightweight tri-gear that they want to tip toward it the will back because you got the, the engine tail. in a pusher right. mode. So you got a little support back there that clearly you wouldn't be right. flying with. So. That's exact. But when you're sitting in the airplane, it sits nice and solid on the landing gear, on the, right. on the tri gear, and uh, and you're nice and stable and, and it's steerable. And it's the whole it's bit. absolutely with uh, with a 180 pound pilot sitting in there. It's uh, it'll actually stay on the tail wheel when you first get in the airplane, and then when you start the engine, it'll the the high thrust line will just set you right over, just push you over on the nose and you'll have about 15 pounds of weight on your nose wheel at that point okay. with a 180 pound single pilot me i'm about 200 pounds right at it, 195 to 200 depending on how my lunch was a couple and of hamburgers you, or one you hamburger. got it okay with with me in there i can sit down in the airplane and it'll stay on its tail until I start the engine, or I can push the plane down as I'm getting in, and when I sit down, it'll stay on the nose. Oh, really? Okay, so you got to ride at that engine, nice it's sweet right balance on that balance point. point, so it's really, really nice. But I'm thinking 15 pounds on the nose wheel, uh, and once you've got it there, and once you're taxiing, especially with the engine running, which is pushing it that way. That's right. Uh, that probably gives you pretty good steering it's, authority. It's perfect. It's, it's perfect as far as that goes. As a matter of fact, I was ecstatic about it. With uh, with uh, I, I actually weighed it out both directions with a 180 pound pilot. I have 15 pounds of pressure on my nose wheel with two 200 pound pilots in the airplane. By the way, this plane has a 450 pound useful load. So wow. it's a 400 pound airplane, 850 pound gross. So you got room for 50 pounds of fuel, two 200 pound pilots, no problem. 40 pounds of pressure on the nose wheel with two people in it. So Is it that right? It doesn't get extreme, that's right. Wow, it's excellent. Still good. excellent. So still you're good. not likely to do damage to that up that's there, right. so you didn't have to overbuild it and stuff that's like right. that? Uh, and yet, you could take off in this thing with somebody who was, now I know it's an experimental aircraft, I know you can't do more higher training, but you could certainly give somebody a briefer on how to Absolutely. operate their cold tail yes. dragger if they said, gosh, all I've ever flown is a tri-gear, I don't really know if I can do that. Come on along, get in the cold tri-gear. What do you call it, by the way? It's a cold Firestar 2 SS, and the SS stands for side-by-side. -side. <laughs> okay. Not super sport, but side by side. That's right. And that means fast try gear. Well, it, it means both, right. I guess. It, it, it can go either way. It's still a side by side. They go either way airplane down yep. in the ultralight area. Yeah. That's right. Does Brian, it have folding wings? It does. Still folds up like all the other Colbert aircraft. Sure does. Quick and easy. Seven minutes from trailer to flight. And I'm guessing no, no. Well, you're a little wider, so is there any change in the way it feels in the air? It absolutely feels still the same. I couldn't find any difference. The cruise characteristics still felt the same. Um, I, I really managed to get the fuselage at the right angles where I'm not feeling the wind on top of the windshield or under okay. the fuselage. It actually penetrates the air very nice. And I cruise. recall from the uh, from the uh, the regular Kolb uh, tail dragger, the Mark III, that this windscreen, which looks like there's got to be a lot of air whistling in here, doesn't actually happen that it's way. It's not that bad. No, it's kind I of mean, a you bubble. Can, you can feel the wind hit the side of your arm down to your down to your side, but your face is clear. I, I was actually did all my test flying with no glasses on whatsoever. Excellent. So I was no no goggles, no sunglasses. I was uh, just. Uh, flying and I was comfortable and I thought I would need them truthfully because we do have some doors that go on this. But right, I've been right. I know you got a, you got a package of, they can yeah, have if they want it. I've done all of my cold flying with no doors and, and I wouldn't fly it any other way. I yeah, mean, I'm, I'm an open I'd air like guy it. too. But when yeah, it's like real it. cold, nice to have a it's little nice bit of It's nice to be able to throw a door on it. It comes back to about your shoulder. And what real about cool. building times on the airplane? Uh, like conventional cold, is it 300, 350 hours? That, that's right. This plane's still in the 350 hour range and uh, with a quick build option, which is about $3,200. Quick build option uh, it gets you down to about 180 hour build time, and still, hours. still, and so, still leaves you your 51% build for uh, amateur built experimental. Now you said that you talked about this like it was a conversion thing. You buy this and you do your Firestar, but what if you just said, "Well, I don't have a Firestar." I, the but I whole want this. kit's available just and like this. What kind of numbers? This this plane kit one and kit two, which includes all your wings, tail feathers, uh, your fuselage, wheels, seats, seat belts, gas tanks, fuel line. You know, everything except for the engine, prop, 
and instruments and your covering and paint is $13,500. Okay, that's a real good number, but add those other things to it. Tell if me you, in the air if price. You, if you add the other things to it with your covering kits, $12.95, uh, your, your 503 is about $6,000. Uh, uh, Ivo Prop 3 blade is uh, in the $700 range. Your instruments are going to run about seven. That all adds up to about $22,500 yeah, in got the there. air. $22,000, dollars right. in the air uh, for about 350 hours or uh, $25,000 for in the air and 180 hours. Absolutely. Or thereabouts. thereabouts. That's depending right. on just how much customization That's you right. want to do. And, and you, can, you, know, you can add more to it. It'd be hard to get much out of it. That's about what it takes to get in the air. All right, that sounds That's pretty it. good. That's a lot of information, but there's always more questions people got to ask. That's right. Where on the web do they go to find it? We're at uh, www.colbearcraft.com. And not the new Colbearcraft. No, of course. Just plain old Colbearcraft, just like it says on his hat and his shirt. That's right. Colbearcraft.com. That's correct. Great. And do you have any information on any of these airplanes, Dan? Well, I've never flown the Tri-Gear because it's the first one I've ever seen. But I've flown, I think, just about all the other ones. You can find that on bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. You can find this video and many more videos on aircraftreporters.tv. Subscribe to the Light Sports and Ultra Light Flyer web video magazine with hundreds and hundreds of videos now online, including air show coverage, Rotax engine tech tips, Rotax 377, 447, 503, 532, and 582 engine rebuilding videos, each two hours in length. Propeller maintenance, advisors, and repairs, VRS parachute saves, Bing carb updates, and much, much more. Get a yearly subscription at www.ultralightflyer.com.